Hey everybody, I want to show you what you get when you buy the Radio Link Cool 9030 ESC. So let's take everything out. So as you can see, you get the user manual, which is both in English and in Chinese. You get the ESC itself, and you're getting four of these jumper caps, and I'll show you what these are for later. First with the ESC, it is an XT60 connector, and these two are the motor wires, and this would lead to your receiver, and the on-off switch is uh, removable from the ESC body. I personally like it when it's attached, so you know where it's going to be. Let's take some measurements of the ESC. It is going to be approximately 45 millimeters long and about 33 millimeters wide and at its tallest point it's going to be around 23 millimeters. The motor leads from the ESC body to the connector is about 97 millimeters the power wire to the connector, it's about 82 millimeters. The receiver wire is approximately 165 millimeters. And the on off switch is going to be 150 millimeters. All right. So let's take a look at the instruction manual. All right, here is the user manual. You have the table of contents, safety precautions, the introduction. You have information how to connect the Cool 9030 ESC to the rest of your electronics. You have some more technical information. You have throttle calibration information and then how to use the jumper caps. And the last two pages are for ESC and motor statuses. And the other side of this is the exact same thing written in Chinese. So that is the Radiolink Cool 9030 user manual. All right, this ESC comes with four jumper caps. And you may not necessarily use all of them. You may use only one, or you may use all four. Really depends on what your preferences are. So for myself, I'm going to be putting this ESC in a regular on-road car that I'm not going to be racing with. I'm not. It's not a crawler, and it's also not a boat. So those are the four selections for the driving mode, boat, normal, racing, and crawling. So, and to set those, you would take a look at the first two jumper slots right here, one and two. And by combination of placing and removing the jumper, um, you could select all four modes. So for myself, I'm looking at the normal mode, I would just leave I would put no caps in at all. If I was going to race my car, I would put it in racing mode and that's going to be inserting the jumper cap into jump slot number two. And if I was putting this into a crawler, I would insert both of the jumper caps into slots one and two. And that's how it works. And these are very easy to place. So I'm going to pretend I am going to put this into racing mode. And there you go. Just like that. And then the next setting is slot 3. And we can specify if we're using lithium batteries or non-lithium batteries. I'm going to be using a light bulb battery. So to do that, I would insert 
the jumper into slot three. Just like that. And finally, we can set the BEC output. So if you were using a uh, high voltage servo, for example, then you can go ahead and set it at 7.5 volts. I'm using a regular standard uh, inexpensive servo, so I'm not gonna need to do that. So for myself, this is going to be my setting. And your settings will vary really depends on your application, so make sure you read the manual carefully. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.